Across the entrance to this facility, you can see a, a series of brand new uh, solar panels, which we believe will power or, or produce all of the electricity that we need uh, to operate this pool. You know, this is probably one of the hottest days of the summer, which is one of the reasons why this pool, pool is so full right now. And, and the reason it's one of the hottest days is we're going through a record heat wave right now, which is clearly um, uh, the result uh, of climate change. And so, you know, if we can, if we can move the needle, if we can arrest uh, some of the damage that's been done, you know, that, that, that sets conditions really for, for, for these kids and for their kids and their kids and their kids. And it's something that I, I think we have a responsibility to do. I would say to any municipality, whether it's a mayor or a city manager or a village manager, um, that they feel like there's too many challenges for going down the path of having more solar, more renewable energy in your community. Um, I ask that they rethink that again. Look, I have two twin daughters that are 11 years old. They're always looking to me going, Dad, what are you doing to make our community even stronger to where when I am your age, you know, that I can look back and make sure that we're still on this trajectory with their kids and their grandkids. I mean, Athens is by no means the wealthiest city in Ohio and by no means one of the largest cities in Ohio, but we are doing all this great stuff. And if we can do it, anyone can do it. I think that's the message that we should be sending. Them.